over the past few months, I've had people contact me on various formats of social media asking me to do a little bit of a tour of the studio, show my space that I'm working in right now primarily. And uh, so I just want to kind of set the stage a little bit and uh, show you around the digs and how I got things laid out and put together. And uh, hopefully that'll give you an idea of my workspace. So if you want to create a space of your own, maybe gives you a few ideas on how to lay things out or put things together or at least gives you a little bit of a tour of the space that I'm working in. So here we go. All right, so I'm going to start out here in this area that's going to be a little bit more in flux. Uh, recently, we acquired another space, and so a lot of this stuff is going to be moving into another location in the uh, metro area. Uh, we're going to, obviously, we'll be keeping our place here, but also have another place, and I'll have a setup uh, there as well uh, that'll be quite a bit smaller uh, space. This whole room here, this whole area here, is just going to be a big playroom so that uh, my son Hank can come down here and play and, and kind of hang out while I'm doing my thing and he can do his thing. He's got his own little house and he's got his own little uh, drawing table and all that. Then uh, I have a lot of... Uh, periodicals, a lot of old National Geographics. I think I have just about every National Geographic from 1935 to 2010, I think. Um, I think that's about right. So there's, there's several thousand uh, National Geographics that I have. This is a small group of them. I have a um, I have a room in the back where I keep a lot of, I have a lot of other books back there. Um, and then I also have a lot of, I've got some flat storage space where I keep, I've got drawers and cabinets and things like that, uh, vertical stuff. I've got a bunch of um, space where I keep uh, paintings and canvases and supplies for that sort of thing. But then, uh, so I kind of keep a lot of those magazines out of here. But uh, anyway, kind of gives you an idea of, you know, of that. And then lots and lots and lots of books. I think I probably buy either online or in person, I probably buy anywhere between two to five books a week. Uh, either for reference materials or for various topics of whatever. Um, this week I bought a book on sharks, mostly for my son, he's into sharks right now. I bought uh, arguments, I bought uh, Painting as a Pastime by Winston Churchill, kind of interested about that and uh, a drawing manual by Thomas Eakins. So, and those are, those are my, the four books that I've bought so far. Well, that was last week. Um, then, you know, on Friday, Thursday or Friday, tomorrow or Friday, I'll go to the Des Moines area uh, and I'll probably find my way to a bookstore. But I also, because I'm driving uh, between this location and the metro, it's about an hour and a half. So it's a three hour round trip. So because I'm in the car so much, I also buy a lot of audiobooks uh, from Audible. And uh, you know, I highly support Audible and what they do. And uh, so anyway, uh, lots and lots and lots and lots of, of books on lots of topics. That kind of brings us into the primary studio space. It's not a real huge area. I mean, there's lots of other space that I'm utilizing as studio area where I'm using things. But uh, the primary spot, I, I suppose, other than like storage and supplies and whatnot is, is this area. 
uh, it's a it's a full kitchen area. Uh, we have obviously have a, another kitchen in the house, but this is outfitted at like a whole kitchen. We got the range. I got uh, the refrigerator. Uh, we keep some overflow uh, stuff in here with uh, in terms of food and things like that. But then I also have all my my uh, various. drinks and beverages and things like that um, we go back and forth between here and North Carolina and so anytime I head that way I get cheer wine I get um, sun drop I get you know I acquire things that you can't always get here in Iowa and it's kind of weird like I talk to people in North Carolina like what you don't have cheer wine in Iowa mm, no. <laughs> no people in Iowa in the Midwest we don't know what that is Anyway, uh, so uh, I don't really use a lot of the, the food stuff. Um, you know, every now and again I might make a pizza or something, but for the most part, you know, for holidays maybe, but not for not for day to day. So this becomes a lot of you know just counter space and whatnot, space for for drinks and storage. I got a turntable back there I, I got a uh, new Nirvana record I got to throw on there everyone you know I like to listen to a little Nirvana uh, you know TV and, and toys and silly silly stuff that I have it's mostly background um, you know and I also use my computer or my Alexa for uh, things like that uh, although I think the Alexa is probably going to go to our other my other location just because I don't use it very much here. So this is my primary drafting table for for this location. I have a another drafting table that I'm actually taking to my other location. Um, and sometimes I work on something a little bit bigger, thus the giant half sheet of masonite. Uh, I have lots of uh, boards that um, of masonite uh, that I've cut into quarters, or I use as like a like to sketch and draw on or, or do projects on, you know, find, you know, just a piece of masonite or something, you know, or like a board with a nice smooth surface to draw on, just, you know, take it out to the garage. I got a, a workshop in the back also. So I'll, you know, cut a couple bunch of boards and have lots of surfaces to stockpile things on. So anyway, all my toys and my fun childhood stuff, always have a bulletin board. Um, I find that uh, I like to, uh, you know, make little notes and things about what I'm doing. And uh, oftentimes, like with projects, um, you know, I'll always have like a little uh, slip of paper. And on that slip of paper, I'll sometimes I'll jot down little things, little notes about what I'm doing. But I will also use that to keep an inventory of pencils and supplies and things that I'm using and what I'm using where so I know the order where I'm layering things especially when I'm doing uh, some stuff with uh, colored pencil uh, from there again more flat surface I have a little table there uh, I like to keep all my pencil stuff together so all my sharpeners and uh, pens pencils all that kind of thing uh, various you know, markers, highlighters, things like that, that I'm, that I'm doing for various projects. I, I like to keep all that, keep all that rolling. Um, <clears throat> then this is another little desk that I use. Mostly this is kind of more for office type space. So this is for, uh, you know, paying the bills and, and uh, things like that, or, you know, overflow. If I need to, if I need to move things around or I need a little bit more space to, move a project or slide something in or out and that's that and then uh, obviously I, I hang up all of my my uh, my rulers and things like that um, just because they're big and I like to keep them whatever you know, my little whatnot shelf a fun thing my little bear anyway and then a little more storage so this storage space is the storage space of, of supplies that I use a little bit more frequently um, that I want to have a little bit closer access to. 
so I have boxes of pencils and containers and little like yogurt jars and oil pastels and uh, an inventory of digital images from CDs, like a zip drive in there, if anybody remembers what the zip drive is all about. Um, you know, again, pencil supplies, carving tools, things that I had in college, things that I used as a teacher, things that I've used you know, over the years. And like most things, you know, uh, it's all about trying to utilize the space that you have. So for example, you know, like underneath my drawing drafting table, there's boards and projects, you know, lots of counter space where I put papers and things like that. And then most of these cabinets and things like that are also filled with, you know, some of its junk, some of its, you know, um, records and supplies and, you know, odds and ends and, you know, little things. Well, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, thanks a lot for checking in and uh, checking out my video. And uh, we'll see you later on. Um, I got my Art 101 videos and these videos. So check them all out. We'll see you later.